Hey there again, and how's it going? This is Eric, and I am back again to talk a little bit more about Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. Named exclusively by me as the Autotune of the art world, Sketchbook Pro offers a wide variety of corrective tools. Now you can fool your friends into thinking you're a descendant of Picasso. Anyways, in this video I'm mainly going to focus on a feature that was just released with Sketchbook Pro's most recent update called Predictive Stroke. Full disclosure, I have the artistic ability of a five-year-old, so if you have any more than that, you'll be in pretty good shape. For this drawing, I just used the symmetry tool and the predictive stroke feature and had the settings turned all the way up to five. And you can see that you can just draw pretty much in any random direction and it wants to correct it and smooth it out for you as you go. Now that I've obviously wowed you with my artistic ability, I'm going to slow this down and just try to show you a couple other applications of the predictive stroke feature. So I decided to do some of this video just in live time so I can show you some of the the uses of predictive stroke. So just bear with me and if you're wondering Oh, there we go. If you're wondering which brush I'm using, it is the, if this would, there we go, Paint Tapered. It's somewhere in the brush library. I, I don't know exactly where it is, but I took it and dragged it there, and I used it all the time because it's uh, it's pretty cool. You give it some pressure and then increase pressure, and it's pretty nice. Anyways, one of the unexpected uses of Predictive Stroke is, like, fancy pants writing you know so if you wanted to get back to cursive you could uh... you could just take this nice and slow and really the letters look like absolutely incredible and you can go as slow as you want and it'll still come out pretty nice or as fast as you want. Another cool feature that I did go over in a previous video, uh, you can do like these perfect circles. That was a really, I thought that was a really cool feature. And you don't have to be a good artist, you know. Like I said, I have no artistic ability at all. So if you just wanted to, I don't know, I guess that looks like a bunch of eggs. <laughs> that doesn't. Yep. I don't know, you could draw like a fried egg or something, I guess. It comes out pretty nice. Yeah. Something like that. I guess it would look something like that, right? <laughs> yeah, so anyways, you can see that the the predictive stroke is a uh, definitely a useful tool. I am I am especially a fan of the way that it can make your writing look you know, just so professional. So if you're doing any instructional videos and you wanted to put like a title at the top, this would be uh, a nice alternative to taking just regular uh, text or font and just sizing it up. I think that gives it more of a, a uh, personal touch, you know. Alright, so moving on. Um, at this point, I guess it would be f only fair for me to tell you that I am a huge fan of the symmetry tool that is included in this suite and what makes it really cool is that you can pair it up with the predictive stroke feature and create some really cool designs just like I was in the beginning of the of the uh, of the video 
but you can take this symmetry tool and I'm not sure if you know or not you can split this up into you know uh, 10 11 12 you know several different pieces here so you have this you're being mirrored 16 times on these cool little tiny little designs that you're doing so if you're just doing something similar to what I was doing at the beginning of the video I was just doing some little swirlies and lines Oop, I don't have the feature on See that? That is just, that is something else. I'd say that this one feature makes the entire program worth the money. And I'm saying that from a non-artistic standpoint, not an artist, that's not why I bought the program, and I don't work for them. I don't know just drawing in some random directions and uh, just seeing how it comes out I guess it's all you can really do you always have that undo button I mean look how smooth look how smooth that that comes out you know I could be super shaky and it's gonna be coming out even more smooth but if you turn it down and you wanted to keep some of those you can see that it'll eh, yeah, it'll keep some of it, opposed to when it's turned all the way up. And then it just really wants to smooth everything out for you. So yeah, again, definitely, definitely satisfied with my purchase. I don't know what, how much is going for at the moment, and I guess. I probably shouldn't mention how much I paid for it, but I guarantee that they changed their price right after the new year. Still worth it. If it's $20, 30 $40, it's definitely worth the money. Well, I guess it's about that time where I awkwardly ask for you to like my video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. So, I, to save you the awkwardness, I guess I just won't ask those questions. Thanks for watching, though. Okay, so I'm still here, and before I go, I just wanted to take this opportunity to address some possible upcoming questions. Um, I did rece receive a, a few questions, um, some comments from some viewers, uh, and they generally seem to be uh, based around what kind of equipment was required to use this program or what kind of equipment I'm using. So before I go, I'll make sure I'm going to just go through everything that, that I use for this video. Um, to start, I am using just a, a regular everyday average Wacom tablet. I think that I spent somewhere around 60 or $70 for it. It's, it's just a small to medium size. Uh, it plugs in via USB. It's not like a tablet computer or anything. I have this plugged into a regular uh, Windows 7 desktop PC, and things seem to work seamlessly. Uh, the only upgrade that might matter, um, I did upgrade the video card. I use Camtasia and Sketchbook Pro simultaneously, so without extra video memory that might cause a problem with uh, uh, a lag in the recording, 
So if you're going to be doing any sort of desktop presentations or recordings yourself, I would definitely recommend getting a video card uh, upgrade before you do so. And I think that about sums it up. Um, so no special equipment or anything like that. And again, thanks for watching.